So if you own an iPad or an iPad Pro, like me, you've probably seen a ton of paper-like adverts recently all over YouTube. And it's one of those products that I was a little bit skeptical about. I thought, you know, are these creators just getting paid to promote a product that's maybe not any good? So I reached out to Paperlike and I said, look, we've got this channel. We've got tons of designers, creators, and video editors. Would you send us one through the post? just so I can give it an honest review. We don't want paying for the review and they're not sponsoring it and they're not paying us anything like that at all. Um, and they said yes. So I'm gonna put a paper like on my own personal iPad Pro. I'm gonna show you how it works and then I'll give you my honest opinion and we can see just how good this product is. So let's get into it. So attaching a keyboard screen protector like this can seem pretty scary, but you do get everything included in the box to make it as easy as possible. So you get your cleaning wipes and cleaning cloths. Now the first thing you need to do is line up the paper like to your iPad Pro screen and then use these pink stickers to create a kind of hinge. Now I like how simple this is and it actually works really well. Once you've got them attached you can then pull back the paper like and then use the included cleaning cloths to get rid of any smudges, dirt and grime that may have built up on your screen over time. You then use the black cloth to get rid of any liquid that may be left from the cleaning wipes and then a sticker to get rid of any dust. And once that's fully done you can then peel back the paper like put it back onto your screen and line it up. You may get a few bubbles when you do this, but just use a little credit card and you'll find all the bubbles will easily escape from the edge. Now is for the scary bit. We're gonna lift off this slowly because we don't wanna peel off the, uh, the paper like. Now revealing the paper like screen protector. Oh, and it's come off really nice actually, really good. Okay, let's take it out and have a look. Okay, so as you can see, it's gone onto the iPad really, really well. It's actually got quite a, a matte finish to it, which I wasn't quite expecting. And that's actually really good because we do tutorials on the iPad and we tend to get a lot of reflection from the iPad screen. So it's gonna be really interesting using this. But uh, now let's power up and take a look. Okay, so I'm doing this handheld just to show you as close as I can the uh, the iPad Pro screen, and it's really, really nice. As I say, it's given it a matte kind of finish, and if you've seen any of our iPad videos before, you'll notice we have quite a lot of screen reflection due to the, the studio lights, and as you can see, as I move around this, just even handheld, there's not really any reflection on the iPad screen. So for me, if you're a video editor or, or a designer, uh, or if you're a creator doing tutorials, this really is, is something great that I wasn't quite expecting from this product. So uh, now the, uh, the truth is, does it actually feel any good when you use the Apple Pencil? Okay, so I've opened up Photoshop here on the iPad just to test out the, the feel of the Apple Pencil. So let's just do a screen. Let's just uh, do a web large, that's fine. Let's create this. Now let's try and uh, use one of the paint brushes here. Let's uh, get the size of that down. Yeah, it really does actually change the feel of the uh, Apple Pencil altogether. Y you know, before it's quite glossy, if you've ever used the Apple Pencil on an iPad, um, you, get, you do get that glass on glass kind of feel, which isn't, isn't great. And I would say 100%, this does feel much more like um, using a, a real pencil and on, a, on a piece of paper. You get kind of that feedback that you get with a real piece of paper. Let me try Apple Notes because that's something I use quite a lot. Okay, so I've opened up Apple Notes. This is what I tend to use if I'm on the road and I'm making notes. So uh, we've just got the regular pencil set up. I will warn you, my handwriting is atrocious and I'm kind of sitting behind the camera here as I write. So we'll test this out. Hi, this is a test of paper. You know what, that does feel so much better than using uh, just the pencil on the screen. I, I, I was very skeptical, as I said in the intro, I didn't think it would feel quite like this because a lot of screen protectors are uh, glossy themselves and I thought, well, maybe this is just a screen protector under a different, different kind of name. But actually, um, it gives you a little bit of resistance. Um, I just write a few more words. Yeah, it gives you a nice bit of resistance that 
you don't get with the screen. You know, if you're drawing on a piece of paper, as you run your pencil along the paper, there's natural friction there, which sort of slows your, your drawings, your handwriting down. And you don't get that on the iPad, no matter how good the, you know, you think the Apple Pencil is, you don't get that. And this adds that to the iPad experience. So now I'm gonna use this for a few more days, but already I'm really, really loving this. Okay, so I've been using it now for about two or three hours after I did that filming. Uh, I took my lunch and then I did some more notes, handwritten notes for a meeting, uh, and I've done some more drawings. And to be honest, I'm really, really impressed with it. I think I was one of these people who were very, very skeptical about it. I thought, how good can a, a screen protector be? But this is actually a really productive tool. I think if you're uh, a graphic designer, if you're maybe a video editor and you don't want the sort of glare on the iPad screen that you get. Um, if you take a lot of handwritten notes, you know, I know a lot of students out there, you'll be using your iPad for lectures and college. And I really do think this not only protects your screen, obviously, which is a great thing, um, but it does make it feel more paper-like, which is kind of, I guess, it does what it says on the tin, you know, which I really, really like. So I, that was the main thing I was looking at. I thought, is this gonna make my iPad feel a bit more paper-like, and is that gonna be the end of it? But actually, to be honest, I think I would just buy this for the fact that it has kind of like an anti-glare matte finish to it. For me, that's almost more important than this feeling like uh, paper, but that, the fact that it does feel like paper is a real world plus. So I would have no hesitation in recommending this. I think in fact, um, they did send us um, a link so we can sign up as a, as a partner affiliate. So I'm gonna actually sign that up and I'll put that in the link in the description below. So if you do choose to buy one, um, I certainly would recommend it. We just get a tiny little kickback and it'll buy our team a coffee or maybe a beer. So. Uh, let us know what you think of the paper like. Uh, drop us any questions you have in the comments below. Of course, this is gonna be stuck on my iPad Pro now, so this will be in our future tutorials. So I might mention this in some more videos coming up for the iPad Pro. But thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video.